given that all the travel plans have been essentially scuppered by lockdown, around the end of August 2020, me and my partner Adam decided to embrace this and have a little staycation. This really made me realise how many cool places there are right near us that we want to explore. And it made me appreciate how lucky we are to have a car to be able to get around to these places. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name's Tally, and this is the vlog of our camping staycation in Perthshire. I still can't believe this was only about an hour and a half drive away from where we live in Glasgow, and the drive itself was absolutely gorgeous. I've been tempted to just stick on a really good playlist and go for this drive again, because it was stunning. <laughs> We started off our trip with a little hike up to St Fillion's viewpoint which has a gorgeous view overlooking Loch Urn. and I'm so glad we did this before going to where we were staying because it made the trip feel a lot longer rather than if we had just gone straight to the yurt for check-in time and then been there for the weekend. We'd paid a lot of money to stay in this yurt so when we were there I really wanted to just enjoy the yurt, but beforehand it was really nice to go on a bit of a hike in an area that we hadn't been before. <laughs> Is it too spooky? No, it's scary. I've got some here. Oh, I don't want to know. No! It's a jump. Oh, it's dripping. Behind you. It's like in Spirited Away when she goes through the tunnel and comes out in a different different place. Mm. Yeah? and our barbecue look at it I'm seriously impressed oh my god this is nicer than our bathroom at home <laughs> this is so fancy Here we go, instructions. We've got the hot tub lit, the wood burner, 
that'll take about three hours to heat up. So let's explore what we've got. So we've got oh, what? Got exploding kittens. Ah, <laughs> they've got some games. Um, so normally they'd meet you in the yurt or meet you at the car park and take you to the yurt but obviously can't do that at the moment so they've got these sanitized boxes with all the stuff in them like our linen and like hotel slippers what and then this one's got all our kitchen stuff in it and we've got a little refreshment pack what's in here tea and coffee and some biscuits in it and I mean we've stocked the fridge now but we have Prosecco slippers on ready to go literally everything is provided like we've just been through the box and there's like conditioner and shampoo and shower gel and hand gel and like a scented candle they've really thought of everything and a heated towel rail. I'm very excited for warm towels. I've come to have a snoop at one of the other accommodations. I don't think there's anyone in there, is there? Oh, they've got a nice hot tub. Oh my god. I mean, you can't see it. But it looks so cool. Say hello to the local cows. How cute are they? And that view, oh my god. to get in our hot tub but we've made it too hot <laughs> it's a too hot tub <laughs> and it's we don't know how to make it cool down because the fire is still going but the sunset's nice our hot tub is still too hot and we've ran out of wine or red wine so we're for opening the prosecco didn't cool down enough for us to get into it until about maybe 11 12 last night and it's still warm now like that's still a nice temperature so later we're just gonna like just warm it up a bit <laughs> the weather is not that nice today it's kind of just started drizzling so decided to just stay in I've got the fire going Adam's just in the bath and we're just going to have a chill day. Keeping that top door open though so we still get the view.
That final morning, we just had a breakfast sandwich, which we cooked on the barbecue. I think all breakfasts <laughs> should be made on a barbecue. It was great. And then we just packed up and left. We were planning on making a detour and going to Stirling on the way back just to extend our trip a little bit longer. But the weather wasn't that great and it's also actually quite hard to sleep in a yurt with the wind. It was really quite noisy so we were both pretty tired. So we just decided to head home. But it was still such a lovely trip and my first experience of glamping. I really enjoyed it and I'm definitely up for glamping again in the future. If you have any recommendations for any other places in Scotland that we should visit while we're just doing staycations still, then please let me know in the comments. You can give this video a thumbs up if you've liked it and subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more from me. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.